Yes, yes, today is International Women's Day, and over the past 24 hours, women have held protests around the globe to fight for equality and freedom. It's a battle we're fighting in our own country as well, with the rollback of abortion and LGBTQ rights throughout this country. Joining me now is Aaron Haynes, editor-at-large of the 19th, and Masi Alinejad, an Iranian-American journalist and activist. And uh, Masi, I do want to start with you, because, you know, when you think about International Women's Day, uh, my mind goes and heart goes re immediately to Iran. Uh, talk about the state of the fight for women's rights. Um, in Iran. Thank you so much. I mean, before even start this, I have to say that I'm in LA to be at Time Women of the Year event. And um, I was told that I have to wear cocktail dress. It's a dress code. And I said to myself that, wow, in my country, we are fighting against a uh, dress code. And if women choose what to wear, they'll get blinded like these women. I want to actually name them. Ghazal, Nilufar, Rohele, Hanane, Kosar. These are the women in my country. They took to the streets peacefully, protesting against the brutal death of Mahsa Amini, who got killed just because a, a little bit of her hair was shown. And these women got blinded. More than 500 innocent protesters got killed. Women are facing rape in prison. This is the situation in Iran. But I want to tell you that. Uh, women in Iran are still in front line. And today for International Women's Day, they still took back to the streets. They removed their hijab. They started to dance, which all of these activities are punishable crime. To say that we are here. You can take our eye, but not our hope. You can take our yeah. body, our breath, because many of the schoolgirls are under chemical attack. You can take our breath, but not our hope. We are here to bring a gender apartheid regime down. Amen. You can get an amen. I, I, I'm not sure, but you can get an amen for that. Erin, uh, you interviewed uh, our U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas Green, uh, Greenfield. And, and I just wonder, you know, what was her sense of, you know, balance of hope and dread? Um, because we have what's happening in Iran, which is a scandal upon the world. You have what's happening in Afghanistan, where girls have been ripped back out of school and out of public life. And then you come to the United States, which at this point ranks, where do we rank? Uh, like 15, no, 21st. 21st um, on, on the rankings of justice, security, justice and security for women. That's how far we rank below Estonia and other countries. And we've lost abortion rights. Where, where is her sense of hope versus dread? Well, you know, the ambassador told me, you know, that, that the, the status of, of women and girls in the U.S. and around the country right now is mixed. I mean, obviously, yes, there are those gains in terms of representation in the U.S. and around the world. But there is still a lot of progress to be made. And the reality is that for many women, uh, both in America and, and abroad, uh, women are feeling less safe, less free, and less equal, right? And so uh, she definitely talked about the situation in Iran, Afghanistan, and Ukraine, where you see women on the front lines uh, of, of, of this battle for women's rights, for democracy. And, and, and also you see them, you know, in Afghanistan, education is at risk, uh, literally, uh, sexual violence is a weapon of war in Ukraine, and, and, and women are losing their lives in Iran uh, while peacefully protesting. And so uh, certainly this is something that the ambassador is, is, is concerned about, that they're continuing to address. She said that keeping the pressure up on the government uh, of Iran is certainly something that is a priority for her. And Masi, do you feel that there, there is sort of an international, I mean, it's International Women, Women's Day, but there are so many fights, you know, Aaron just mentioned Ukraine, rape is being used as a weapon of war in Ukraine. You've got, you can go all the way around the world. Um, do you feel from your point of view that there is an international coalition of women who feel that they're fighting the same fight and support one another enough? It should be a coalition of women fighting for their rights. But you know what uh, actually breaks my heart? That for years and years, Iranian women, women of Afghanistan, have been fighting like lonely soldiers. So for, for me, um, fighting against compulsory job for eight years, echoing the voice of Iranian women fighting against morality police, echoing the voice of women of Afghanistan saying that, you know, this is 21st century. We have to be, we have to be uh, free to choose what we want to wear, to choose what kind of 
of lifestyle we want to have. Uh, we don't have democracy to change the law. So that is why we have to change the regime. So uh, I strongly believe that right now, this is the time. There should be, I mean, today on International Women's Day, we, the women of Iran and Afghanistan, we launched a campaign to actually call on the democratic countries, on the governments, to actually expand the, the the apartheid in the legal definition to gender apartheid as well. So I think we have to keep the sisterhoods. When it comes to Afghanistan, yeah. to yeah. women in Iran, some sisters in the Western country, they're worried that they're not going to touch compulsory hijab issue because they don't want to cause Islamophobia. It's all about my body, my choice. And we have yep. to brave, be yep. brave enough. doesn't matter if we are Republican, we are left, liberal, Democrats. When it comes to women's rights, we have to stick together. We have to be together and uh, put away our uh, political agenda. When it comes to Iran and Afghanistan, we cannot survive. We cannot live. That's why we need the global uh, feminist movement to be with us and echo our voice as well. Uh, we, we are. I wish we had more time. Uh, we're going to have to have you both come back. Erin Haynes, Wasi Ali Najad, thank you both very much. <laughs>